All right, welcome back, everybody. This is going to be uh, the recap for this July 12, 2023. Only thing that I had on in the futures or the indices was the ES. Um, I did buy the ES. It was a pretty simple in and out trade. I bought in. Um, it came in later in the afternoon. It came in after 2 o'clock Eastern. But it was an HF3 buy. Very quick scalp. In and out. Um, probably 15 minutes. Um, ended up taking a profit on that. And we'll go over the results here after I go over all the charts. I uh, did more trading in the um, in the stocks. But uh, I am also long a mini Russell, which I'm carrying overnight. So I didn't close that out yet. And I'm also short a natural gas going into tomorrow. I have not close that out so we'll see how those do in the morning so long the mini russell short the natural gas all right those are still open all right let's take a look at uh let's see what we did on our stocks today all right the first stock we're going to look at is e-l-o-x e-l-o-x so we had a buy entry ship to buy entry came in pre-market um and uh, we dipped. So after we dipped, once again, you know, I like to get in pre-market, wait for those pops after the opening, try to get out in this case. Um, I did buy, but it was coming down pre-market. I stayed with it. We did have a pop up. As we were popping up, this is the opening here. So the shaded area is pre-opening. So after we opened up the 9.30 Eastern, I went ahead and I added to my buy position right over here. Okay. Carried in both, got a profit, nice little trade on E-L-O-X. Where I had trouble is I'm going to show you um, the one trade where I took a pretty good size loss on it. Um, let's look at that because I want to show you both the winners and the losers. All right, so here's A-A-O-I. And uh, once again, what we're seeing here now, and I think I may have mentioned this in another video, a lot of times playing markets or playing these stocks before the opening bell kind of goes in cycles, all right? Because a lot of times you're going to see times in the market where you can do a lot of your entries pre-opening and then after the opening you get that initial burst up, all right? We're not seeing a whole lot of that right now, all right? So you got to be careful in here. This, I think, was me just getting greedy on this trade, to be honest with you, because I did enter, I did have three levels, which I actually hit my, uh, that third level right over, right after the opening. I didn't expect this kind of flush, and see, this is what I'm talking about, all right? You get this big flush, which normally, all right, in the past, uh, it would, you'd have that big push to the upside, right? So you'd get all that built up interest. They would come in and they would go ahead and buy it. What a lot of people were doing now is a lot of people are, are getting out before the opening. So it's something I'm going to start looking at, uh, on how aggressive I want to be after the opening bell. All right. But if I get setups, I'm going to continue to take these setups. I'm just going to have to be a little bit quicker getting out of them when they hit these levels. But in this case, I did not. And not only did it have a flush, but um, it came back down and had a second flush. I was thinking that we were going to start going back up. because so I was sending it up here. I was thinking, okay, we're going to go out. I'm going to get out again at the third level, which I should have got out of the first level. Because the pattern did meet, okay, its obligation. But it did not do it a second time. And so I ended up taking a pretty hefty little loss on that. Now, the one trade where I... Probably could have killed it, but as I mentioned this morning, I wasn't doing a whole lot of, um, didn't put a whole lot of size on this. Uh, and I wish I had, because I would have had a huge day. Let's take a look at HCTI. I know some people did very well on HCTI uh, as it halted to the upside, and I was able to catch part of that halt. So let's look at that. All right, so here is HCTI. Once again, I did open this. This came in, when did I get an HCTI? Yeah, about 851 uh pretty much um about 30 minutes before the opening bell over here so i did have a buy uh entry uh when we had this initial burst up i went ahead and i took profit i was going to wait for the opening but then when i saw buyers coming in i went and bought it so i was only out for maybe about three minutes or so four minutes and then i re-entered again Market fell down, still seeing that buy and expecting buying to pop in. Once again, 
this is the kind of move that I'm looking for, right? Right after the opening. So I added right down over here at exactly 929. Exactly. That's when I put in that add order. And uh, it burst. And then we had it halted on the upside. So I was loving it. All right. I think we had two halts here. But then on this bar right over here, it took out the high again. I was thinking it was going to go and halt again. It turned around and started falling down. I went ahead and I got out, and it actually halted on the downside. All right, so I got out before the halt, but I could have really cleaned up had I just stayed with my initial position, added here instead of trying to, to play it in here. Could have gotten a lot more aggressive on this because just everything was there. Good volume, good buying on the book. Everything was good. Uh, it's just that... Uh, I can't remember what pattern this was. I didn't put it on here. I can't remember if that was an HF1 or an HF2. Uh, but anyway, <coughs> well, this was an HF1 on this uh, re-entry. This way I had it and I, I re-entry and then I added on to that. But uh, yeah, I really could have cleaned up because this was a huge move. I mean, you went from what, 6? I got in at 688. And got out on 63. So yeah, I mean, but... I just didn't have a lot of size on, all right? And really disappointed why they get more aggressive, put more size on. But anyway, so let's take a look and let's see how we did here. So overall, not a huge day. Once again, AAOI kind of hurt me there with that $656 loss made on ELOX. See what I'm talking about? ACTI just wasn't very aggressive on it. Uh, and I wish I would have been a lot more aggressive. Made some good money on AULT. This was a morning watch list. Um... And as you can see, AAOI was on there. <clears throat> Once again, I could have gotten out of that, but I just didn't. I, yeah, that, that was just total greed, I think, on my part. Still watching BDTX. I still think there's an opportunity there. Didn't do that. And, of course, uh, EL, ELOX was also. So uh, didn't have a huge watch list today. I was a kind of disappointed. We did have a lot more in our afternoon watch list. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was AULT was out on that watch list that I picked up and then made that nice little uh, end of the day trade as we went into power hour. <clears throat> okay, folks, that's said. Remember, tomorrow's Thursday, one of the best days of the week. I think to trade is a Thursday. Uh, I've always said that if you're going to trade and you can only trade one day a week, try to make it on Thursdays. For some reason, that is the magical day. And I think it's because a lot of people want to take off early on a Friday. So you just see a lot of that volatility coming in. And uh, use everything's moving, so I've always look forward to Thursdays. Most cases, those are going to be my bigger days. So hopefully you can join us in the morning on our live show. Once again, we do do it for 30 minutes. Now that we have the new Discord channel where I can start sharing a lot more information, <clears throat> like my watch list and so forth, um, and at, at the opening bell, I switch over and we, uh, we focus in Discord on these trades. But uh, still, continue to watch me from 9 a.m. to 9.30 Eastern. And uh, hopefully we'll have some nice setups then. All right. Everybody have a good night. See you tomorrow.